to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. If you want to manifest the supernatural that you have received, it is a union of the strength of the word of God in you and the ministry of the spirit this is what separates miracles from superstition the word and the spirit now there there is a big problem with the body of Christ as far as the dynamics of the manifestation especially the charismatics and the Pentecostals it's like there is a group that chose the spirit we are the spirit people we pray in tongues, we pray, we prophesy, we do all of this. Doesn't matter whether we have respect for scripture or not. I'm not being sarcastic. You know I'm sent to the body. And then there are those who are the word people. Forget about all those spirit things. Just teach the word. Both of them are incomplete. It is the spirit and the bride that tells the word to come. It is the spirit of God who hovered around the face of the waters. But do you know when the spirit of God hovered around the face of the water, creation did not happen until the word came and Elohim said, light be. But if Elohim had spoken and the spirit of God did not hover, there still will not be a miracle. What does that tell you? There are two principal tools or two principal platforms that the believers both access and manifest the supernatural number one is the ministry of the word what does that mean the word of god is powerful because all creation happens through the word let me give you a few scriptures lend me a few minutes colossians 1 16 media let's work together colossians chapter 1 and verse 16 please look up it says for by him were all things created how many things were created things that are in heaven Things that are in earth, visible and invisible. Look how powerful the word is. So the word of God can create visible things like a job. Visible things. Like physical healing to a body. Visible things like opportunities. Invisible things. Whether they be thrones, dominions, principalities, powers, all things were created by him and for him john chapter 1 and verse 3 a scripture that we've worked on in this house all things were made by him and without him that means outside of his influence and outside of his partnership was not anything made that was made hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3 hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3 hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3 it says who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person please look up it says and upholding how many things all things by the word of his power he holds all things including the person to help you he holds him by the word of his power including your destiny helper including the form that has your contract written on it it is held by the word of his power hebrews chapter 11 and verse 3 paul teaching us on faith he says through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of god so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear that means let it be let it not be new to you the material realm came from the immaterial realm just because it is unseen does not mean it is unreal it is only unseen to the optical eye but it is on is real very very real so the union of the word listen according to colossians chapter 3 and verse 16 the bible declares that the word of christ should dwell in us 
richly in all wisdom so the more the word of god becomes your obsession listen carefully the more you learn scripture the more you submit yourself to the ministry of the word you are empowering yourself to manifest the supernatural let me tell you what happens in the body of christ and this is why there is a high margin of error in our administering the supernatural we ignore the word all we look for is anointing all we look for is vessels all we look for is a bottle of oil or a bottle of some kind of emblem i'm not saying those things are wrong in themselves but all things start with the word the more you submit yourself to the ministry of the word the more you are opening yourself to the supernatural question how did wine come about when the feast remember in in, in the wedding in in and in, in john chapter 2 the first miracle of jesus according to the synoptic account of john water turned to wine it always starts as water if you want wine get water first if it is god that will turn that water to wine if it's god that will give you wine it will not start as wine it will start as water it is the word of god that you must have and then as you go that word is now turned to wine if it's a job that you need if it's god that will give you that job it will not start with a job it will start with the word it is as you engage in the word the word will now change to a job are you seeing it now if it is breakthrough you want and you go to god and say lord all i want is breakthrough god says go back to the word it is as the word prevails in your heart the word will now become that breakthrough if you look for things outside of the word you may never find them it is the word that metamorphoses into those things the word of god number two is the ministry of the holy spirit we see the classic dynamics of manifesting the supernatural in ezekiel chapter 37 please give it to us very quickly ezekiel 37 let's start from verse 1 ezekiel 37 and the hand of the lord was upon me the bible says and he carried me out in the spirit of the lord and he set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and he caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo, they were very dry verse 3 he said unto me son of man question now can these bones live and the prophet answered O lord god thou knowest verse 4 he said prophesy unto these bones and say unto them O ye bones hear whose word you do the speaking but the word is not your own when you speak your word it will not happen God is the word but you are the voice like John said if you want to be the word yourself that one you are you are in trouble already the realm of the spirit will not respect your word it respects God's word even if a donkey speaks God's word, the realm of the spirit will obey it. Prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Verse 5. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause what? Breath. Are you seeing now that the first miracle that happened was breath to enter them first if there is no breath there cannot be life and you shall leave verse 6 and i will lay sinews upon you and i will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall leave and ye shall know that i am the lord verse 7 so i prophesied not as i wanted as i was commanded and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking. And bones came together, bone to his bone. That means, watch this. If I disregard the ministry of the Holy Spirit, I do not grow in my fellowship with the Holy Spirit. It is true that I am a recipient of the life of God, that divinity resides within me, but I may never be able to manifest that reality. Listen carefully. Most believers 
continue to brag and boast that they are recipients of the life of God and it's a fact based on what the Bible says but you see let me tell you the truth releasing the reality of that life comes when you understand these dynamics the Word of God the ministry of the Word you must engage with the word you must stay with the word what is the benefit of the word number one the word of god shows you how god operates number two the word of god exposes you to the boundaries of god's commitment to you god is only committed to what he said to you not what you want it is your assignment to find out what he said that relates to what you want god is all powerful but that does not just mean he does anything anyhow no he is regulated by his word the word of god defines the boundary and the coordinates of god's power god's power does not just operate randomly his word so if what you want is lifting you cannot have lifting until you can find from scripture where god committed himself to you on that wise is there any assurance based on the word of god that he said he will lift you yes there is such an assurance number one the bible says the path of the justice as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day number two deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2 it says if it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord thy god to observe and to do all his commandments which i commanded this day it says that the lord will set you on high above all nations of the earth there is a condition is there any scripture that supports your advocating your rising yes yes arise shine for your light is come so you can carry these scriptures now you have satisfied the word component now you have to engage the spirit just because you have found the word does not mean the supernatural will manifest you now god is bound by his word because he has chosen to exalt his word even above his reputation i have found the word that guarantees that god can lift me that god will lift me based on his desire for me you must engage the ministry of the holy spirit it is the spirit that gives life to that letter hallelujah are we together now one of the ways we engage the ministry of the holy spirit for our profiting is through the priesthood ministry of prayer write it down the priesthood ministry of prayer you will never truly manifest the supernatural if you ignore the priesthood ministry of prayer do you know why he gave us the prayer language do you realize that the prayer language is connected to the holy spirit ye shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come in acts chapter 2 we do not see them receiving power we see them receiving tongues but what he said he never said you shall receive tongues he said you shall receive power but in acts chapter 2 we see them receiving tongues that means there is a relationship between that language of the spirit and the release of spiritual power if i tell you for instance that i am going to give you a thousand dollars a thousand dollars anything that comes from me to you is a thousand dollars suddenly you see someone holding a gift pack coming to you what should you suspect is in it because my commitment to you was not a gift pack. my commitment to you was a thousand dollars so if i'm bringing you a gift pack a wise person will open it to say the thousand dollars you said must be there so if he said i will give you power and yet what you got in the very next chapter is a language there must be a relationship between that language and the power he said are we together yes most people do not pray and yet they want to command superior levels of the supernatural we have agreed here that god is not a magician can i tell you sincerely a generation that does not pray will truly be a powerless generation 
Jesus himself recognized the presence of principalities and powers. The Bible says he's head of them. You must get to a point in your life where you know how to engage the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Engaging the ministry of the Holy Spirit is not just saying, Holy Spirit, come. No, no. You engage him as you build intimacy in prayer and you take advantage of that prayer language to release superior spiritual power. Power that can change circumstances. The Lord is my shepherd. You are a man of God and you are trusting God to have a supernatural ministry. There is no superstition about it. It is the union of the word and the union of the spirit the holy spirit engaged in prayer then the holy spirit engaged in worship do you know let me tell you sincerely this our generation does not understand how worship changes people we sing a lot of songs but very few people understand the role of worship in spiritual empowerment we have mastered prayer but not worship I can pray for five hours eight hours ten hours but chances are if you worship for 15 minutes anything after that you consider it a distraction say look this worship is okay i've had the song i know it let me pray oh dear worship is a powerful atmosphere listen when you when you worship the lord is the protocol of the presence you now begin to create the atmosphere for the presence of god to be made manifest this is true He will not suffer my foot to be moved. I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. Mortal man, awesome God. Mortal man, awesome God. There is nothing special to us and in us by ourselves but when we learn how to engage that atmosphere the miraculous is atmosphere dependent you must learn how to not only carry the ark but carry the climate scientists today are laboring so much to master the art of simulating climate regardless seasons so they can make rainy season happen in dry season they don't there are i studied years ago a group of superstitious people in a part of Africa called rainmakers. These are people who know how to fraternize with spirits and change climate. And you will watch videos where they would come and dance and do all kinds of things that don't make sense. Suddenly you begin to hear thunder and clouds forming and then rain comes. They call them rainmakers. When you learn worship, you become a real spiritual rainmaker. You can make any dry season. Can I challenge you? Go to an atmosphere where it looks like God cannot move. Go to an atmosphere where it looks like people. There are times you get to a place where you see that there's no faith in the people. They look at you and even you, you wonder what brought you there. I teach you, learn to be a spiritual rainmaker. Carry your climate with you. Don't just carry your Bible alone. Carry your climate with you. And when you lift your voice to the God of heaven and immerse yourself in worship, I do not know anybody who truly walks appreciably in the level of the supernatural that does not value worship. Genuine worship. Genuine worship. Genuine worship. And you are setting your atmosphere. Can I tell you? The best way is to combine all three. Worship, prayer, word fire. Oh dear. You are praying and worship is playing. And sometimes scripture is playing too. Don't say will I understand. Leave your mind. This is spirit interaction. How many of you have listened to messages and fell asleep and in the realm of the spirit you continued listening to it? including the encounters and the impartation in that message 
you get up and you know that heaven is in this room i'm not alone i'm not alone i'm not alone powerful impartations saturate your atmosphere with worship and something is happening to you as a man of god you stand to minister the word of god and you are ministering with power as a business person saturate yourself with that atmosphere of heaven and go to the boardroom and you sit down and you are speaking they are looking at you but it's not you they are seeing their spirits are seeing someone else their minds cannot articulate it what is it about this man that we are seeing these are the mysteries of the kingdom now please hear me there is such an empowerment and a grace in addition to all that I've shared there is truly an engracing that God can give an individual for the supernatural for signs and wonders how does this grace work when this grace comes upon you number one this grace causes you to desire the word more than ever before this grace causes you to desire the presence of god more than ever before this grace causes you to desire fellowship with god it's not just a grace that makes you to go and start laying hands on the sick the grace operates by working on your desire the first way you know you have carried that grace is there is an unusual desire for the word of god there is no such thing as no time an unusual desire for prayer an unusual desire for fellowship you can lock yourself for a whole day as though you're a madman there is a grace that is working in you i have spent my life seeing this grace work this is why we rejoice every time we have the privilege of traveling from nation to nation and from region to region every time i prepare to come here i am happy because i know that i am not coming alone you are not just coming to listen to another sermon no this is the place of encounter this is the place of surrender this is the place where my life is changed listen whenever we're preparing for service we don't have to find out what your problem is we just have to find out if he's coming with us i cannot begin to find out who is there how sick how oppressed that is a labor god did not give you all you need to do is to know that you are carrying his majesty and then in addition the graces that he has placed upon your life and you can say let's go and you can step into an auditorium like this having people following from across the globe following from all over the city and you can dare tell people that jesus is real you can dare tell people that he can turn their lives around and the holy spirit moves through your words and begins to produce supernatural results some of you come and you sit down and from prayer testimonies something is happening to you you cannot even begin to explain i've been going to church but what is happening to me i will tell you is the supernatural it is not only the three-dimensional realm that works here i assure you this is mount zion this is koinonia an innumerable company of angels the spirits of just men made perfect 
Jesus himself, the firstborn of the begotten, he's here in the midst of his people. In addition to all of these things, when God granted me the grace for signs and wonders, my life changed. If you do not have the grace for signs and wonders, especially if you're a minister of the gospel, the supernatural, you will live your life in jealousy and envy and anger. You will not have results. It's true. And you see, the thing about the supernatural is that if it is there, it is there. If it is not there, it's not there. It's as simple and honest as that. Many of you have come from homes representing businesses, representing different career, representing different situations. I cannot promise you that I can come to your house. I will not even attempt it. I will not promise you that I can see you one on one, but I have a promise. There is something you can be given something greater than me something better than me it is the grace of god the grace that can empower you to walk in the supernatural it is a grace god has so lavishly placed upon this life and placed upon this ministry you know you are operating in the supernatural because your results happen in astronomical proportions proportions that does not look fair then you know god is in that equation one plus one minus god is two satan can even make it zero without god if you want ten it must be five plus five nine plus one eight plus two but when you bring the supernatural into that equation even one plus zero can be ten because there is a factor that can change the calculation it is based on that that frail men like us can have the audacity to tell the nations we present you Jesus and usually they will laugh except that we are not alone hear me I bring you a cure to fear a cure to mediocrity a cure to feeling I am a second-class citizen there is a grace that can land upon your life and literally turn you to a sign and a wonder and the way God imparts these graces is that in addition to that which salvation has done all graces come from God through men to men It's time for you to begin to produce real results so that people don't begin to doubt you listen you are a man of God you're going to get into a life of trouble if you keep saying many things that don't happen the world that we live in today is an audacious world it's not as silent and sympathetic as it used to be but there is a grace that can empower you that as you say it you see it because when God said it he saw it are we blessed we're going to spend a few minutes praying and then I'm going to pray for you from the depth of my heart the Lord gave us an instruction I really want you to carry this grace listen ladies and gentlemen you will marvel and wonder at what your results become like truly speaking this is no flattery if it is the Lord's doing, it must be marvelous in your eyes. There are some of you, September will look like 10 years put together. One month. One month. One month. Looking like 10 years together. And the next time they ask you, how has this thing happened in your life? Be very quick to tell them that it is because of the Jesus factor the presence factor the supernatural factor you just started a ministry how come in four months God is doing this through you 
and you can tell them honestly by my strength i can do nothing but i have accessed a grace from heaven how come your children your children who did not used to do well what suddenly happened to them how come the academics are changing i know these children they were also classmates with my children and you tell them they came for service and something came upon their lives one story and we'll pray a very true story many years ago i always enjoyed the privilege of what we know to be first position or best in class and all of those things and then one time in secondary school i was to receive a root shock and a gentleman who was a dear friend you know that year i don't know what happened and i went back to third and the gentleman took first and it didn't add up to me because we were we were friends and we're wonderful people you can imagine you know just children thinking and then i returned home i was feeling sad and i was saying what what would, what would have been the reason and then the gentleman told me something then oh goodness there was only one living faith branch then in Jos. And he told me, he said, he remembered that not too long before the exams, all he remembers is that they did an anointing service and they gathered all of them together. And then oil just came on them and declarations were made. I said, really? When I learned this, I said, oh, Joshua Selman, my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and i am anointed with fresh oil my head you are exalted like the horn of a unicorn and i am anointed That was the extra factor in the life of that gentleman. He came to church in addition to his study. A man of God declared over his life and placed something upon his life that beat us hands down. We did our best. It just did not work. The same way something is coming on you this night that when it comes upon your life even though you just came here with your intellect alone you came here with your connection but I stand before the God of heaven this grace that comes upon ordinary men and turns their lives around hear me for some of you when this grace comes upon you people who have long forgotten you believe what I tell you supernatural achievements by the spirit things will just begin to happen some of you by this grace you will step into ease ease that you may not be able to explain ease that you cannot explain you believe that when it's time to pray please no moving around don't distract yourself this is a very prophetic moment in the next five minutes i like you to pray the prayer point is lord give me an encounter let this grace come upon my life lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray please pray please pray supernatural it's time to command the supernatural supernatural prosperity supernatural wisdom supernatural ministry supernatural evangelism supernatural business supernatural parenting pray
Following online, make sure you are praying. Lord, I am ready to step into a supernatural life. The reality manifesting, commanding the supernatural. Man of God, pray. Believers, pray. Let ordinary living come to an end. Ordinary ministry come to an end. Ordinary business come to an end. Ordinary parenting come to an end. I step into the realm of miracles, signs, wonders. Results that confound principalities and powers. Supernatural music ministry. Are you praying? Don't be distracted. Pray. Supernatural results by the Spirit of the Living God. It's time to shift to shift levels in the spirit. It's time to begin to manifest the supernatural. It's time for your life to be an epistle, a testament of God's wonder-working power. Are you praying? Are you praying? <laughs> Yes, 
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire fall, fall on me. Fire, fire, fire. Fire fall on me. Just in the days of Pentecost. Fire fall on me. Like in the days, like in the days of Pentecost. Fire fall on me. Fire, fire. Fire, 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 but let me tell you this in this end time those who will really carry the grace for signs and wonders must be people who are serious with Jesus very serious very hungry very passionate more than titles more than church more than emoji more than apostle more than prophet I want to pray for you now. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set my heart on you so you'll do what you do we're in a move this is a move we are here this is a move When Peter and John came to the man at Gate Beautiful, he said, silver and gold I do not have. He said, but such as I have, give I unto you. Listen to me. I don't mean to be arrogant, but let me tell you this. When it has to do with the supernatural, I know what I am saying. I have enjoyed the message of God even on this wise i know what a supernatural life will do to you your ministry your business your life it is jesus we are looking up to but it is men that he uses i'd like you to open your heart in the next two or three minutes believe with your heart just help those under the anointing I have had many encounters in my life I've only said a few of them it is on the authority of Scripture the ministry of the Holy Spirit and the privilege of these encounters I myself have been a recipient of the graces of those that have gone ahead it is not everything that has come just directly by my own personal encounter we have met many people there are those who have gone ahead even in ministry there are those who have demonstrated a supernatural life though we
we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before we are not the first you are not the first to do supernatural business john d rockefeller these are men and women who encountered grace you're not the first to do supernatural ministry oh dear scripture and history is full of men and women who shook the earth in their lifetime you're not the first to have a supernatural career ask daniel through the reign of four kings he remained on top regardless who was in power he remained on top there was a grace and they said an excellent spirit not an excellent talent an excellent spirit was at work in him you're not the first to be intellectually supported by the spirit of god there were hebrew boys who were 10 times better 10 times better let me pray for you now father let this grace come upon your people let everyone under the sound of my voice by the privilege of this grace by the miss the ministry of this angel of the lord's presence i stretch my hands in the name of jesus that everyone under the sound of my voice at the count of three may this grace come upon you may it follow you may it produce results one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace in business supernatural business supernatural ministry signs signs and wonders in the name of jesus let those that have hitherto rakatos kete prekete kata i command those gates be open hither and tita in the name of jesus christ be open hither and tita in the name of jesus christ hear me in the morning in the afternoon in the evening in the night manifest the supernatural For many of you who are in ministry here, I anoint you. Go back to your pulpits. Let fire begin to fall upon your altars in unusual proportions. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that has been happening in your life by a natural sequence, we place grace upon it and we command in the name of Jesus quantum leaps geometric proportions of results where you have been praying naturally i place grace upon you may your ministry of prayer step into a supernatural dimension may your ministry of word study step into a supernatural dimension There are many of you here god has called you into the healing ministry but as it is you have not really seen that dimension the tangibility of the healing oil it has not come upon you i open this jar in the realm of the spirit and in the name of jesus like samuel unto david i place that oil upon you receive that grace now young and old man of god woman of god prophet apostle pastor intercessor receive that grace i release you into a strange healing ministry in the name of jesus we have a financial series coming but let me pray over your finances can i be sincere with you there is such a thing called supernatural finances there really is such a thing. Parasco de Shalatoska de Bandeca Prahaskia. 
The mystery of the raven that brings bread for Elijah at Brook Cherry. The mystery of the five loaves and two fish that can feed 5,000. There is supernatural finances. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. From today, in the name of Jesus, I measure a thousand cubits by grace. I push you into a deeper level of supernatural finances. Provide value at a supernatural dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. one last prayer for many of you you have been making progress but the progress is too slow relative to your destiny in the name of Jesus just help those under the anointing my goodness hear me wherever you should have been but because you did not have the supernatural advantage you have not arrived here yet i stand by the rod of the prophetic in the name of jesus between now and the end of september please hear me i stand as touching the god of my covenant go forward go forward i push you by prophecy in the name of jesus christ Help them please. Go forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. In your career, go forward. In business, go forward. In ministry, go forward. Can I be sincere with you? This is the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. One of the indices that measure fulfillment is progress. I pray for you again. Whatever has made the pace of your acceleration slow, the same grace that came upon Elijah and made him to run and overtake the chariots of Ahab, may that grace come upon you right now. And every force that we want to fight this prophecy in the name of Jesus by the privilege of God's grace he has given us the key of David the key that opens a door that no man can shut and can shut a door that no man can open we open that door and it remains open day and night we open that door it remains open day and night by the mystery of the key of David that door will never be shut day or night in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus wave your hands to Jesus as an act of worship just wave your hands to the king of kings thank you Thank you, Jesus, for changing my level. Thank you for giving me a new story. Remember, Thanksgiving is the last digit to the faith equation. Lord, we thank you. We wave our hands in worship, thanking you. Indeed, it is a good thing to come to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. Just final admonishment. Do not walk out of this place after sharing the grace as if it's not church you came to. Because many people even under this atmosphere, once you are done, you return back to your vomit again. And now begin to act in a natural, carnal way. Realize that you are always supernatural. Protect the things that come out of your lips. Don't just speak as if you are not born again. Don't just act as if the Holy Spirit is not at work in you.
It says, now that you know these things, happy are you if you do them. Hallelujah. Let me make an altar call now. Inside, outside, all the overflows. There are people here, whilst you heard me talking about the supernatural, I told you that the first basis of the supernatural is salvation, your encounter with Jesus. And I know that you are here and you've never truly made that decision for Jesus. Perhaps you've been coming to church. Perhaps you even come from a Christian family. Perhaps you've been around men of God. But you're saying, Apostle, I want to start afresh with Jesus. Or you are here saying, I've given my life to Jesus Christ. But as it is right now, I truly do not know the way my life is going. I need a renewal. I need a rededication. I'm going to count one to five. I'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain. Come and stand here. One. Run to Jesus. Help them. Help them. Help that lady, please. Help her. Help her so she doesn't fall. Here. Run to Jesus. Inside and outside. I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours forever. I'm yours, I'm yours, I'm yours. My life is yours, it's yours, it's yours forever. It's yours, it's yours, it's yours. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Let that be your confession. Join them if you are still coming. Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. One more time. It's a prayer from the depth of your heart. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Can I tell you this? Only God can tell the joy that is in my heart every time I see people come to stand and make this declaration for Jesus. Every time. We pray for this every week. We cry for this. At the back of our preaching, we expect this to happen. Souls running to Jesus genuinely. Genuinely. I want to salute every single one of you. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. He can always give you a new beginning. I can tell you. This is a family of faith. There are many of you, whilst you are crying, God is seeing a prophet, an apostle, He's seen a mighty general lift your right hand very high above your head and i want you to say this convincingly knowing that jesus is here let it be from the depth of your heart say after me lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe that you are my god my savior my lord and my king tonight i declare that my life is no longer mine i hand it over to you in exchange for your own life i receive into my spirit eternal life i receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and i declare that I reign in life. Say after me, the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I am a child of God, washed by the blood of the Lamb. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. Father, I pray and thank you for these ones, Jesus, for these ones that you have brought to yourself. We honor you and we thank you. 
by the authority of scripture i decree and declare that your sins are forgiven and that the lord gives you a new beginning from tonight i commend you therefore to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit and i pray that you will become mighty vessels in the hands of god in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare that everything that is not of god in and around your life let it go now once and forever in the name of jesus christ i welcome you to the family of faith and i declare that in the name of jesus christ you go forward ever and backward never in jesus name i pray congratulations to every one of you now very quickly there are counselors waving the placard at my right which is your left i'd like you to please move in concert be be careful with the crane so you don't injure yourself please all of you this way to my left let's celebrate them as they go you'll just meet with a few counselors and you'll be back now if any of them stood up close to you and they did not carry their bags their bible i forgot to say this please make sure you protect it for them whilst they are away hallelujah celebrate them as they go amen now just just two quick announcements please let me have your attention thank you for your patience just two very quick announcements and then we're done for tonight the first is our school of ministry now as you know we've been running a school of ministry for eight years now and we're really proud of what god is making out of our students and um, it's usually part of the program to have what we call a practicum a practicum is a time where i haven't built the students to a measure we allow them um, we engage them in the work here in koinonia they can run a whole service or do something just to build them and um, by the grace of god we're happy i'm not sure that i have the date here maybe i'm sure i threw the paper somewhere but then the practicum for this set will be on the 10th of october the 10th of october right here it will be a koinonia service so please pray along support them some of you they are your loved ones please cooperate with them they are going to be having engaging moments from now till that time please do understand and lend them your support and then by the grace of god same october by his grace we're going to be graduating them both campuses both here and zaria will be graduating our students in october praise the name of the lord hallelujah um there's a special announcement coming from the worship team the worship team is pleased to announce that it's finally opened and is looking for skilled instrumentalists and vocalists those interested listen carefully those interested should please send i'm told maybe a one minute video to eni worship team as one word eni worship team at gmail.com or you can do well to wait i think if you have the time you can wait just at my left and then you'll see some of the leaders they'll guide you on what to do they are particularly looking for skilled instrumentalists and vocalists you are here you are in this house and god has graced you on that wise please do well to see them and trust the lord to bless you and to help you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah have you been blessed tonight we thank god for the showers of blessings we receive them as confirmations that you have stepped into a supernatural dimension in the name of jesus christ um the next announcement is security now god has granted us grace we're a very large house there are overflows down to the basement and outside and i want to lend my voice with the security department to encourage everyone that please every time you come for koinonia number one realize that you are ultimately responsible for any and all items that you come with we've had an occasion where items get missing and all of that please do well to make sure that um, if and when you pack your vehicles work with what the security department tells you and then do well to lock your vehicles and then when in the auditorium or around the facility please make sure that your bags if you came with valuables make sure that you always keep an eye on them especially because 
of some of the manifestations that happen. We do not want a situation where we have people coming in to come and steal. It's unfortunate. It shouldn't be. But we're a responsible ministry and will not rule that out. It is possible that these kinds of things can arise, as is the case with most um, very large ministries. So I want to encourage you to please be security conscious even whilst you are here. We have our CCTVs and then we have the um, protocol and security department working together to make sure that lives and property, we also have the force and the rest, but at least do your best to contribute, lend your attention and your participation to make sure that everything um, that should be protected is protected. And then as much as possible, if you can, uh, as much as with, is within your power, do well to minimize coming with extremely valuable things to church. Maybe things like um, checkbooks or some kind of very valuable things, except you have to. And if, if you do come with them, please protect them. We do not want a situation where we hear that people have come to um, you know, steal or do anything. And then the final announcement still on security is please we have official correspondence systems. The PR desk is outside. You can always meet them for correspondence. Do not listen to any third party correspondence on any and all matters that relate to the ministry, especially when you are here, especially as it um, concerns things that have to do with finance or so on and so forth. Whatever you want to find out, the PR desk is there, the protocol department, alongside the security people they are here to help you you can always ask authorized people because some of you have been misled by people who just want to take advantage of you it's important that i state this and the lord is going to grant us grace and help us in jesus name it's raining so please do well if you if you if you don't have to you can just remain a bit let the rain subside and then you can go out so that you do not um you do not get yourself wet, especially for those who have children and nursing mothers. And if you can, please do well to help and support some of our people who may not have vehicles as, as at yet so that you can just help them. The Lord will bless and honor you in Jesus' name. Have you been blessed tonight? Please rise up on your feet. Thank you so much. I honor and I bless everyone who has been here. Again, please let's appreciate Minister Owe Abutu. God bless you. Thank you such such a great time with you hallelujah the lord bless you i declare that your weak beginning is blessed in jesus name you will experience the supernatural and you will command same all through this week in the name of jesus you will continue to love the lord with all your heart and you continue to serve him passionately and whilst you do that you will keep experiencing results from one level to the other in jesus name the lord bless you the lord honor you for in Jesus' name we pray. Let's share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forever. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. the face of development lord grant me the discipline